What's exciting this year about the 2010 census for the LGBT community is that for the first time, we're going to get data not only on what we call same-sex unmarried partners, but the Bureau will release information on same-sex couples who called someone a husband or wife. And that's something that's never been done before, and I think it's a very exciting change. LGBT people around the country live in very different environments, some of which, some of whom still live in areas where there's a lot of stigma. And so being able to ensure confidentiality to their responses on the census is, I think, really vital for, for LGBT people. The first time we were able to identify same-sex couples was in 1990. And what's interesting is in, in 1990, there were only about 145,000 same-sex couples in the 1990 census. That went up to almost 500, over 500,000 in the 2000 census. And that was partly due to a lot of, to at least the LGBT community doing its own outreach saying this is how you can get counted. What's exciting in 2010 is it's not only the LGBT community, it's the actual Census Bureau now engaging in that outreach as well. So they've understood that this is really important.